Welcome to MuseScore in Minutes, a series of short videos that will quickly get you up and running with MuseScore 2.0. I'm Dr. George Hess. In each of these videos, we'll look at how to use some of the basic functions of the exciting new version of this program. MuseScore is a free and open source music notation program that's a great alternative to Finale and Sibelius. You can download it for free at the website shown on the screen. Lesson 9. Repeats and Endings Part 2 Now we'll take a look at some other types of repeats. It's pretty common when you have measures repeating exactly like this to use one measure repeats instead of writing it all out. So I'm going to select and delete all of those measures. And then I'm going to go to the Repeats and Jumps palette and drag a one bar repeat into our rhythm section instruments. Now I'll select that measure, use the R key to repeat it. We can do that also in measure 6 and 8. Now let's add a solo section. We'll use our rhythm section parts, and so we'll just copy the first 12 measures. And then click in measure 15 and paste them. While we're there, it's probably not a bad idea to put a double bar line in to make things clear. Next, we'll fill the saxophone part with slashes. Go up to the Edit menu, select Tools, fill with slashes. After the solo, we'll return to the head before jumping to the ending. I want to place in a double bar at the end of the solo. And then we'll go to the Repeats palette and select DS Alcoda to take us back to the first measure that up there. Then I'll put a sign in measure 1. We'll jump to the coda after measure 8, so we'll put the 2 coda sign there. Now we haven't actually created our coda yet, but we know where it's going to be, so let's go ahead and move down there and we'll place a coda sign at the first empty measure. Finally, I'm going to go ahead and copy a couple of measures into our coda. And then we'll go ahead and enter in a couple of notes to take us out. One last thing we should do is copy the chord symbols to the guitar and the bass. I'm going to select the first chord symbol, right click, and then tell, select all similar elements. Now that's going to cause us just a little bit of problem because of these last two. And so I'm going to hold the command key and select those to delete them from our selection. Now I can copy and paste these. Actually I'm going to cut them from the tenor because I don't need them there. I'm going to select my first measure here and then I'll select the first measure of the bass and paste them in and then we'll do the same thing for all of the solo section. We have a couple of extra measures at the end. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. Select those and then go up to the Edit menu, Measure, Delete Selected Measures. Now our arrangement's all set up. This has been MuseScore in Minutes, a production of George Hess Music. For future videos, please subscribe to this channel. And for information about music technology training and clinics, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.